Facebook ads can absolutely crush it for your business, but most brands are making one key mistake that's hindering their performance altogether with their ads. And I wanna be able to show you the new way of managing your Facebook campaigns and audiences, so that way you can start seeing much better results and performance with your Facebook campaigns. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Chase Chapel, and we work with some of the largest brands and creators in the world on their Facebook ads, TikTok ads, and viral organic marketing to be able to get both views and sales with their business. And I'm gonna be covering a few different ad accounts that are absolutely crushing it at our agency, Chapel Digital Marketing. I'm gonna be showing you the exact campaign structure that we use so that way you can see exactly how things actually work in the new way of doing Facebook ads so that way you can start seeing incredible results. So here we are inside of a Facebook ad account. Some of the common mistakes that most people make with Facebook ads is they have too many campaigns. That's the first most common mistake. Having too many campaigns can cause overlap, it's a lot to manage. It requires you to spend more time optimizing. It's distracting. It doesn't organize your data as well. And it's harder for the algorithm to definitely exit learning with your ad sets because they're being split up into too many campaigns. The second biggest problem is people don't organize their campaigns into buckets. Organizing your campaigns into buckets can allow you to optimize much quicker and it makes the data improved over time. It's easier for the algorithm to learn and you can very quickly know exactly which audiences are in which campaigns. For example, we have a retargeting bucket where only the retargeting audiences are. We know for our retargeting audiences that we're averaging $30 cost per purchase. If we were to mix our retargeting with our lookalikes, that would convolute our data and we wouldn't know if it's the retargeting that's necessarily performing or the lookalikes that is without having to drill down and get super deep into the actual data. Having a structure like this is much simpler for us to view and analyze our numbers to know if we're doing good on a return on ad spend based off what we're spending. The next thing is we have our lookalikes and only our lookalikes go in this specific campaign. Same thing for our interest. And then we always have an open audience, which is essentially a broad audience. Broad audiences work extremely well with Facebook because over the years, Facebook's able to optimize their algorithm. They've gotten super successful at identifying your audience for you. As long as your creative communicates your product or service in an effective way, Facebook's gonna be able to identify where to actually send your ads to be able to deliver the best purchases for you. And so we have these four campaign setups, and now let's break down exactly what is in each side of these audiences. For this retargeting, we're averaging about a 10X ROAS, meaning for every $1,000 we spend, we're making back 10K on this actual campaign. And so we have middle funnel, we have lower funnel. Lower funnel is people who are closer to the actual checkout process, meaning they've likely added to cart. They've showed that they've initiated checkout they've potentially have purchased in the past. And so they're a very qualified customer. And so we have a 180 day time frame, meaning we're retargeting people who are most interested in potentially buying. Then we have middle of funnel, which is usually page views, people who've actually visited the site. Maybe they viewed one of the products. They didn't add to cart, but they've interacted with the website in some form. Top of funnel would be people who've engaged with your ads, your social media page, potentially have made it to your website, but really just have only seen your ads, videos, or posts before. And so that is another way to bring people in. So you're always moving people down this funnel to be able to eventually convert. And so that's the first structure of your actual retargeting audiences. And as you can see, averaging a 15X on middle funnel and a 10X on lower funnel here. Then we move on to our lookalikes where we're using a 3% purchase 180 day, meaning we built an audience of people who look just like the people who have purchased over the past 180 days with us. This is a very qualified audience because it's people who are quite literally very similar to the ones who have already spent money with our brand or business before. And so we did a 3% and 5% because it's a little bit larger of an audience size. So it's less likely that the creative or audience will fatigue early on if it works. And it's much easier to scale over the long run, especially when the audience is much much bigger in size. So having a larger percentage is gonna open up your audience size, but it's also gonna make it less qualified the bigger it gets. But if you have a creative that converts really well, you can very quickly see amazing results. So definitely make sure to check out this video here if you wanna see creative that performs and understand what Facebook ads work best. And so continuing along this path, we can see we're averaging a 10X here, a 10X ROAS here, and then a 5.79. These are all performing amazing, and these are our lookalike audiences. And one thing that we could do is actually make sure that we use the budget on the campaign level, because that allows the system to deliver the spend to the best performing audience for us. We don't have to just manually adjust our budgets. A lot of you use ad set level budget, and that's good for testing, but once you know something's working, it's best just to switch to CBO level, especially with lookalike interest or your broad targeting, because the system 
can optimize effectively for you. Facebook has shown this to be proven time and time and again to be able to convert and generate amazing results. Some of you who are really familiar with how the tracking systems work on Facebook, you might be wondering, should I trust this ROAS? A lot of times you might see inconsistencies. So I highly recommend to go to beta.surge.com. This is our ad tracking platform where you can integrate your Facebook ads, you can integrate your TikTok, Google ads, all inside of one dashboard and be able to track exactly what your true return on ad spend is and see where you're missing purchases, which audiences are truly attributing to the correct audience. So definitely make sure to check that out if you understand tracking and want to be able to have better insights with your campaign performance. Now, moving along to our interest here, averaging at 8.97, we split out our interest because we can definitively know which audience is performing. This is a key part to the Facebook ad strategy because if you have a bunch of different interests and they're all together, well, you might see some performance, but you're not gonna know exactly which one's ideally converting, and it's gonna make it harder for you to find more audiences in the future if you don't know what is actually making the most results for you. And so in this case, we split out our interest. And once we find something that's really converting well, and we see that each interest is averaging a 6x, 10x, 8x, 12x, these are the four we're left with. And as we continue to scale up over time, if we were to spend about $1,000 daily on these ad sets specifically, what we'd probably end up doing is just one, having the CBO level, but then consolidating and stacking at that point. That would allow us to just basically put all four of these audiences in the exact same ad set, which makes it much easier for us to scale in the long run. Then we have our interest in open audience. And we have about a 5X ROAS. We have a few more interest in here, but our broad audience is really the main one here, which is essentially our open. It just means you have no age range targeting, automatic placements. You've selected nothing specific. It's completely open to a specific country. This audience will tend to perform extremely well over the long run. As time goes on, it gets better and better. And so that's essentially the structure of the campaigns and ad sets. And as you can see, it is absolutely crushing it. So let's go ahead and check out another ad account to see a different version of this to see what changed. Here we are inside of another ad account, very similar structure here. We have our retargeting, but now we have an Advantage Plus campaign, and then we have our interest. We're averaging 6.5X in this audience in the last 14 days as well. So 6.2, 6.5, as you can see, Facebook ads are absolutely still crushing it. And if we were to pull up Surge and go look at the tracking, we're gonna see very similar numbers here. They're just gonna be attributed a little bit differently per each audience. So when we look at retargeting, we have our IG Facebook engagers, which is our top of funnel. Website visitors, 180 days, that's our middle funnel. Add to cart, initiate checkout, lower funnel. This time it's labeled a little bit differently. We know exactly what audiences they are in this case, but that's essentially the breakdown from top to bottom in terms of your funnel. And so IG Facebook engagers is a highly underestimated audience. Most of you don't use this audience, which is crazy because it absolutely crushes it for a lot of clients, especially if you're running video ads where you post Instagram reels. We have clients all the time who go viral on TikTok, Instagram, and are leveraging this audience to retarget all of those viewers, which absolutely crushes it with their Facebook ads. We have clients doing a 10X ROAS like Photon Candle here, who is absolutely crushing it. And just like 93 Play Street, when we implement these audiences with a lot of clients, it absolutely goes crazy in terms of performance and sales. And so it's averaging at 18X ROAS and about nine purchases here. Website visitors is doing a 6.6X ROAS. These could definitely be scaled up significantly so that way we could extract a lot of the performance. Then we have our interest with our CBO level spend and we're already down to one specific audience after a lot of testing. We pretty much know that this is the interest that's working. So realistically, we're gonna be focusing more on Advantage Plus rather than trying out a ton of new interest. It's really just gonna come down to going based off the prior account performance and leveraging that. So to explain what an Advantage Plus campaign is, an Advantage Plus campaign is going to take the best performing audiences, whether they're retargeting or cold audiences, and start to combine those and go after them with your Facebook ads. And it's going to leverage the best performing creatives you've had in the past and put those into your Advantage Plus. It's essentially taking the best of all of your account and using that account history and all of the data that the ad account and pixel has collected over the months or years and then using that inside of a custom campaign structure to essentially be highly effective and you can see it's doing about a 6x we could scale this campaign up pretty significantly over time and see those numbers maintained for sure advantage plus is great if you have account history highly recommend testing it if you already have the data in your account now if your audiences and ads are already doing really well well you don't necessarily need to test an advantage plus but if you're 
performance is down this month, you're struggling, and you've had months in the past where you've absolutely crushed it. Maybe it was three months ago where you were consistently doing well, and then all of a sudden things aren't going good anymore. Try an Advantage Plus, it could bring back your performance because it's going to leverage that data from the past. All right, so that is another similar account structure. This is definitely one of the newer ways of doing things so that way you can consistently produce results. And it's working day in and day out for a lot of different clients. So here we are in another ad account here. If we were to filter by active, we have a few campaigns here as well. A little bit different variation because we're spending a little bit more. We have our standard interest, as you saw earlier. We have our retargeting audiences, which is lower funnel. This is post purchase and this is top of funnel. And these are absolutely crushing it at a 3x ROAS. And then we have a custom campaign. Sometimes if you're wanting to push a very specific product that you just released or is new, launching it in a campaign that's separate from your evergreen creatives that are always on is going to be a good strategy because you can measure the data separately, analyze the numbers and make sense of whether or not this product launch is successful. So that is as a standalone campaign, which isn't necessarily a part of our core for structure. It's really just a one-off where we launched a new product. And then we have a brand awareness campaign. And this account is looking to scale pretty significantly over the next few months. And so having a brand awareness campaign can bring people in top of funnel and always keep it fresh and people coming in. We don't necessarily see purchases from this. We primarily focus on purchase conversion campaigns because that's where we get a direct ROI. But when you have an account that's looking to go from $1,000 daily to potentially $10,000 daily in spend over the next year, well, you definitely want to start building up the brand awareness over time with a top of funnel campaign because eventually you are going to need a wide range of people and impressions to be able to retarget later down the line to convert them. And so let's look at some of these lookalikes. We have a customer list, once again, most qualified data here, averaging a 4.47x ROAS. And then we have our interest once again. And so this is a very simple structure, spending about $1,000 daily in this ad account, averaging a 3.31x ROAS. Definitely a profitable campaign. So let's go ahead and jump to the next one. Here's another ad account. This one's at about a 2.5x ROAS, very simple similar. You're starting to see the consistencies here. We have about four campaigns. Once again, our retargeting structure where we have lower funnel, we have purchase 180 days, which is essentially anybody who's purchased before, we're getting them to come back and buy the product again. If you're a subscription based product, this is great to use that strategy. Interest testing, we were about down to three audiences. This is where we would switch to the CBO level. Once again, after our interest testing is done, we have an advantage plus, which is leveraging old account data. And this one's been scaled up over time. And as you can see, it has a lot of purchases. And then our original retargeting, which was working in the past through plays, which is essentially people who fully watched our ad or video on Instagram and we're retargeting those people. We could move this audience into our retargeting, but it's working really well. And there's no sense of, you know, essentially cutting it off right now since it is performing well. We're comfortable leaving it here. But as time goes on, we'd eventually move it into that same campaign. So that way our data is consolidated. But right now, it's not really bothering anything since it is a standalone audience and it is performing well. And every day we've been crushing it for clients like this, where we've generated her juice bar, a 2.5X spending upwards of $2,000 daily, 93 Play Street, who's averaging a 6X ROAS, and where we have an upcoming interview coming out this Tuesday. So definitely make sure to check out that video with her where we talk about her journey and success. And then like Seek Cover Solutions here, who's also averaging a 6X ROAS, where they have been using our TikTok organic viral strategy, and then have been using our agency strategies to take their Facebook ads to the next level. They've been struggling over the past year with Facebook ads, and we helped them go from zero to $500,000 in sales in six months with their TikTok account and now we're helping them go to that million dollar year with their Facebook and TikTok organic strategies. And I can go on and on about the success of our community, but if you're looking to take your brand to the next level with your Facebook ads, your TikTok ads, your organic methods, and even getting your conversion rate on your online store to the next level, then definitely make sure to DM me the word mentor at Real Chase Chapel on Instagram or click the link below this video to set up a call with myself and team to see if my mentorship is the right fit for you. Inside of my one-on-one -on -one ads mastery mentorship, we guide you through exactly how to set up the campaigns, the best performing structure, optimizing these with you on an ongoing basis. You could set this campaign up and execute the creatives, but if you don't know how to optimize and make the tweaks, whether it's through the budget or knowing when to turn something off or on, when to scale and all of the minor details in between, then the mentorship's definitely a good fit for you. And we can actually show you on your website what changes to make to be able to take your conversion rate from a 1% to four, even seven and 10% conversion rate, which is an absolute game changer and can skyrocket your sales and growth. 
So definitely make sure to DM me the word mentor or click that link below so that way you can set up a call to see if it is the right fit. And I've given away about 80% of the strategy in this video. The other 20% is going to be broken down in this video here where it goes over the creative strategy. And this is one of the biggest aspects to being able to get your campaigns to perform. Audience structure is one thing, campaigns are another thing, and it's really a minor slice of the pie in terms of your creative production and how you actually execute your call to actions, your intros. It could be make or break with your results campaign for sure. So definitely make sure to check out this video here if you wanna see the full strategy. And once again, it's your favorite digital marketer here, Chase Chapel. Cheers and bye y'all.